Good day. I hope all of you had a wonderful Easter holiday and a Passover celebration. And for those of you who will be celebrating Ramadan, best wishes to you. It's been more than a month since Valley Health announced it was caring for its first patient with COVID-19. This came just two weeks after the first confirmed case in Virginia was announced and two days after West Virginia confirmed its first case. In the past several weeks, we have seen a steady rise in the number of positive cases in both states and throughout our service area. Like the steady beat of a drum, we are carrying on our fight against COVID-19 as we have not yet reached our peak. People ask what we can do to help us in this fight on the war against COVID-19. The single most important thing everyone can do is to follow local, state, and national guidelines and simply stay put. The stay-at-home orders in Virginia and West Virginia direct people not to leave their homes except in extremely limited circumstances such as work, getting groceries, picking up prescriptions, or emergency medical condition. Valley Health's six emergency departments remain ready to serve our community for those who need immediate care for a wide range of problems. Please don't let concerns about the coronavirus keep you from seeking medical attention if you are in a crisis. I know that staying home is easier said than done, but there are things that if everyone does, it will benefit all of us. Steps such as shopping online, using curbside service where available, avoiding busy times to go to the grocery store, maintaining social distance and looking for other ways you can change your routine will all make a difference in our shared sacrifice. For instance, my wife usually does the grocery shopping for us once a week. Well, she's now thinking a little bit further ahead, so why don't we shop for two weeks at a time? My wife also volunteers help one of our neighbors who's homebound so she was going shopping for her once a week. In doing so, my wife and I have cut our exposure to the grocery store by 75%, and we're eliminating our neighbor's risk by allowing her to stay home as opposed to going out. Simple steps like these have a great impact when we all adopt them on a community-wide basis. So when people ask you what can they do to help with this battle and help our heroes on the front lines of caregiving, my message is simple. If you stay home, you will save lives. The economic impacts of COVID-19 are far-reaching, and many businesses, including healthcare organizations, are having to furlough employees or close their doors completely. In an effort to minimize the financial impact to you, our employees, Valley Health's leadership team, with the full support of the Board of Trustees, is allocating up to $50 million of our financial reserves to support you and our other colleagues as we continue to pay staff even when working hours are reduced due to COVID-19. In doing so, we are committing that for the next 90 days, all full-time and part-time employees will continue to receive at least 70% of their regular base pay, regardless of the hours worked. We are taking these steps now, as well as others, to ensure that Valley Health retains a solid and dedicated workforce, remains a financially strong organization, and more importantly, that we are well positioned to fulfill our mission to provide safe, high-quality care today, throughout this pandemic, and into the future. On behalf of the 6,000 caregivers at Valley Health, with whom I am proud and honored to stand with you side by side, thank you for everything you are doing to help us.